What's up you guys, Forrest here with the Foco Flow Show. Today we are looking at the 2021 Pivot Switchblade, the XTR build here at Blue Ridge Cyclery in Charlottesville, Virginia. Bikes are still super hard to come by here in the uh, US and probably all over the world, but if you work with your local bike shop like these guys here, they'll work with you to find one when it's coming in. So hopefully you can find the bike you want and get out there and find that flow. <music> On my never-ending quest to try the coolest and newest mountain bikes on the market today, I reached out to Sean, the owner of Blue Ridge Cyclery that you see here, and he said he had a pivot switchblade in stock. He was willing to let me pedal around. Of course, like I said, uh, the bike industry is still heavily, heavily impacted by the supply chain issues of the pandemic. Um, Blue Ridge Cyclery actually does have uh, a handful of bikes in stock. Some of the sizing um, are a little bit limited, but uh, as true with Blue Ridge and, and many of the local shops, give them a call if there's something specific you're looking for. They'll give you an idea of what they have coming in and what's already in stock. Lots of other good um, accessories, helmets and gloves, those things are starting to show up a little bit more frequently. So there's a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, but then again, some other lead times that are longer. So again, awesome opportunity to check out one of the high-end bikes they do have in stock in this beautiful Pivot Switchblade. This particular bike is the Pro XT XTR build, which retails for $74.99 and it gets you the Fox factory front fork, uh, rear shock, as well as the transfer dropper post. In case you're not familiar, the switchblade is 160 millimeters of front travel and 142 of rear DW link travel, similar to the Ripmo, just slightly less travel than the Ripmo, but it is increased in travel over the years along with geometry. Again, it's a beautiful bike and its claim to fame is the flip chip in the uh, upper link width that I'll show you here in a little bit that allows you to run it as a 29er, a 27.5 plus, or some combination of mullet or reverse mullet somewhere in between whatever your preference would be. So as Pivot goes, this is a mid-tier build, believe it or not. They have a couple less expensive builds without the Fox factory. You can upgrade wheels to i9 if you would like, or you can go all the way up to the Fox Live Valve electronic suspension over 11 grand. Looking at the Pivot website, you've got uh, three different color options, the horizon blue, the tree line green that we have, and the uh, off-white one is called Mojave. Again, you get all of the text and specs that you would want to know about the bike that makes it unique. As mentioned, we're looking at the Pro XT build, which really is about as top notch as most of us will ever need. Also on the website, you've got all of the Geo specs. This one's, of course, very progressive, 66 degree head tube angle and 75 and a half seat tube with a 44 millimeter offset on that front fork. So it makes the bike super lively and poppy and can tackle just about any kind of enduro or trail terrain. You got the list of all the specific things, including the ability to run the bike as a reverse mullet with a 29er in the back. And then highlighting over here, here's that flip chip that allows you to flip it. So when you change wheel sizes, you can dial in the geometry that the way that you like it so again um, definitely one of the best bikes that money can buy depending upon how you assess that statement and then uh, with one in stock we're going to hop over to a little bit of live footage and some of the slow motion suspension compression and a couple of quick rides of course no trail uh, but definitely a little bit of opportunity to get a feel for the bike on the bike So the smaller size bike definitely felt easy to pop and hop and right. manual and bunny hop as you yeah. saw there. So we're going to get into what little bit of climb and ride footage we could actually get with a little side hill here, get an idea for the climbing, and then uh, a couple of quick downhills just to get a feel for how stable it is in a short steep section. 
Great. Really efficient pedaling. Come over here and keep pedaling. Man, this is great. Dare I say, more efficient than El Ritmo. I like it. All right, let's see how she pops a little. And then steep tech. All right, one more easy climb up and over and around. Again, this is definitely an inexact science. Blue Ridge Cyclery gracious enough to allow us a little testing to get a feel how this compares to the Enduro, I tested a few months back, my V1 Ripmo, my V2. Well, bikes are still hard to come by. Oh, I like getting out of the saddle and mashing. That's hard to do. All right, we got one more run here. I soaked it up. Nice. All right, guys, there you have it. The 2021 Pivot Switch Blade, the XTR build with Fox Factory suspension. Really hard to complain. I know it's not a full uh, bike test. I wish it was. Demo days still aren't a thing here in the middle of 2021. It feels plush, it manuals super, super easy. It's poppy, it's you know, really uh, stable in the little chattery stuff I did do in the little steep run, you know, short right out of the march, Solly. Um, sorry, shopping center, but it gives us a feel for how it compares. I would say the Ritmo is just uh, a little bit more of an enduro bike than the Switch Blade. And of course the Specialized Enduro is more of an enduro bike than the Ritmo. So decide what kind of terrain you want to ride and if you want your bike to be a little bit more efficient or more uh, capable in the steepest of steeps. We didn't get to that today, obviously, but we got a good feel, awesome bike, high-end components, boutique brand. But remember, Blue Ridge Cyclery here in Charlottesville was awesome to help out and give me uh, an opportunity to ride it. They've got some bikes in stock, some of the lower end models, find your entry level mountain bike. They've got great gear, check them out. Now, go work with your local bike shop. Tell them what you're looking for. Have them tell you what's coming in stock that they've already ordered. And maybe you'll get lucky. Something will be unclaimed or unpurchased already. And that's how you can get a bike a little bit sooner than when we just order from the shops right now and then have to wait for an order to come in. A little bit longer there. Hope this was helpful. I know it's not perfect. But let's use all of this information to get out there and find that flow.